Suppose we try to calculate the line integral as follow, evaluate the line integral, the integral of the function two plus x squared y ds along curve c, and your curve c is defined as upper half of unit circle. Upper half of the unit circle. There. So what's the graph like? What are we dealing with? We are dealing with this base here. You have unit circle and it is just the upper half. Negative one, two, one. So as you can see, you have an elementary integral with two variables. You have to get rid of one of these variables or convert them into a third variable. There's no other choice. We have to convert this integral into one variable integral. There's no other way. You have to get rid of x, y, right? y in terms of x, x in terms of y, or just convert them into a new variable. But remember that here you have x equals to r cosine t, y equals to r sine t or theta, it doesn't matter. Well, you have a unit circle. R is equal to one. So X is just cosine T, Y is just sine T, and T is bounded between zero and pi. So this integral becomes the integral zero to pi two plus cosine squared times sine. And here you have your ds. How do we define ds? ds is the square root of dx dt negative sine t squared plus dy dt, which is cosine t squared dt. This, is, this guy is just one. So ds is equal to dt. So this guy becomes d t. Very good. This guy becomes the integral 0 to pi to d t plus integral 0 to pi. Here you can use u sub cosine squared t sine t d t. U is cosine t, du is negative sine t dt. So here you have 2 pi minus, you have a half cosine squared t between 0 to pi. So we get 2 pi minus a half. You have cosine squared of pi, 0 minus 1, or 2 pi plus. And here you have a third, not two, because you already have u. Okay, negative a third. And here you have negative two. So two pi plus two thirds is going to be the final answer here. So the line integral is 2 pi plus 2 thirds, taking the integral of this function over this curve. Instead of just taking the integral between negative 1 to 1, we are moving along this half circle and we're calculating this integral. 